For me, it's been 36 years since I uh, first came through the gates of West Point and saw this place with my eyes for the first time. Graduation was, what, 32 years ago. There's constantly change here, and yet, it is no doubt, when you look at West Point, you know exactly where you are. Why it's here and that it's here, that, that does not change. And so it's always good to be back. I'm excited about coming back to West Point and having a chance to talk to first-classmen who are about to graduate about what's, a, what's awaiting them when they get out there. One of the things that I always talk to uh, cadets, especially those who are about to become commissioned, I always remind them to do three things. They first have to lead, they have to listen, and then learn. One cannot consider uh, oneself to be successful unless it is the view of one's subordinates. So do the subordinates believe that you have been a success? Were you a good leader or not? Did you earn their respect? Did you inspire them to achieve something more than they thought they could? Did you build a team that they were a part of, that they knew they were a part of, that let them feel like they were part of something bigger than themselves? When you hear that kind of an echo back from those you led, then you can say you've been successful. Until then, you have much more work to do. Having sat in their seat, they probably won't remember much of what I say. Uh, but if there's something that sinks in, then it may take a while before it blossoms into something that's uh, useful to them. But I just want them to hear what I say and uh, try to take that into account as they shape themselves for what the nation is going to ask of them.